Yesterday, the birds was our books, the trees was our books, the fish was our books. And everybody learned off of them because they provided the knowledge for us. We got to resort back to the stars again. We should have never uh, took our eyes from what counted up there because the stars never change. I can't give my, uh, my kids land, I can't give them money, but I can at least give them some knowledge of the canoe. As long as they have their canoes, they want to go out fishing, they want to go surfing, they want to have recreation, hey, learn the craft, then, you know, survive. They can survive. You can sit in the trough and surf, but you're only going to move as fast as the ocean's moving. What you want to do is find that open pathway to the next trough, and that's where you get your shoot. You know, when you get to that trough, you take a couple seconds break, get some oxygen back in, and look for your next opening and shoot that one. That's the thing, you know, if you find the right path in the ocean, and you're gone. The six of you got to become one with the canoe, and then that makes seven. The eighth one is the ocean. You get how many in the canoe, you, know, you and the ocean become one, and the canoe will fly. Our hula is back. Our chant is back. The art of making canoe are back. I think that challenges make the spirit very, very strong because it's like a fighting spirit, a fighting spirit for making sure this is preserved. Hey, I can a kumu maluku, I can have a kava, I can have a kava. Let's hoi kava. Please come and challenge us today.